Hello again everyone. Today's video is brought to you by the British Under-Resourced Motorhomers Society. This video is part of a collaboration with a number of other caravan and motorhome related channels. Please be sure to check out the playlist in the description and on the card at the end to see the other channels take on the best motorhome and caravan cost saving tips. Well, of course, everyone is having to tighten their belts somewhat these days. So let's head in to our first money saving tip. Now, of course, fuel prices are rising all over the country. Whilst it may not seem immediately practical to convert your vehicle to run on another fuel source, there are perhaps alternatives that you could explore. <laughs> Food, of course, is another big expense out of your motorhoming budget. And there are many TV programs and books on foraging for natural sources of food. So consider what's about in the natural environment near you that could sustain you through your motorhoming travels. Another staple ingredient of the motorhoming holiday, which has recently gone up in price, is alcohol. So consider perhaps making your own wine and beer, which can be made from a variety of different vegetables and fruits. And there are a great deal of instruction books and manuals and websites devoted to the subject. popular activity during motorhome and caravan holidays is to visit historic industrial sites such as mines, transport depots, water mills, factories, that sort of thing. Why pay to visit these outdated and old-fashioned sites when on any nearby industrial estate you can visit the up-to-date modern equivalent for free? Vehicle repairs and maintenance can also represent a significant expenditure out of your motorhome budget. Why not use the many resources on the internet and in books and such to carry out your own basic vehicle maintenance and repairs? Oh, for flipping bloody pigeon, you bloody flipping and of course, the distance you travel on your holidays can also represent a significant expense in fuel, ferry uh, tickets, that sort of thing. But often, the best sights and experiences can be had on your own doorstep. Good day, isn't it? Yes, dear. Yeah, I like it. We should, we should do this more often, shouldn't we? Oh, great. I thought we were going out in the motorhome. No, no, this is our holiday. Just on our doorstep. All right, that's absolutely fine, but how long are we staying here for? don't know, how long we got? I don't know, how long is it before you can get me out of here? <laughs> I'm stuck now. <laughs> yes, exactly what I'm <laughs> trying to tell you. Yeah, but then... <laughs> and what about those big mobile phone bills? When you're on site or wild camping and there's no free Wi-Fi, you're burning up lots and lots of data and you'll be charged accordingly by your phone provider. Why not consider other forms of communication which you might come up with with a bit of imagination? <laughs>
So they are our top motorhome cost saving tips. I doubt you've found them useful, but please check out the other channels in the collaboration group for a much wider range of cost saving measures.